right, guys. Who's gonna take it? Who will take this weekend at Johnny B's? Sneak peek for Dune. Fluanderies or Vanquish Souls? Let's find out. Alright, we're in standby main. Alright, he's gonna special Fenrir for a fact. He will add. That is. That is Rise Hunt. Will he activate Stake Your Soul next? That's the good question. Probably. Oh no, Prosperity. Just as good, if not better. Alright. He's gonna banish to reveal six. Count him up. Count him up. Alright. See what he gets. Two ashes. Phantasmia. Interesting choice for this matchup. Alright. Rhoda. Oh. Always a classic staple. I think that's the first time we've seen an activation of a basic Rota, guys. We've been doing this three weeks in a row, and that's the first Rota we've seen. That's amazing. Alright, he's getting Rosin. That's literally like your play starter in this deck. Just search for whatever. Rosin for effect. Nope, yep, it's going through. Guess the flu player didn't draw into, uh... Ash Blossom this turn. Alright, Link soaking Into Rock. Rock. Alright. Rock Effect the Search. Oh, I'm sorry, the other card. Alright, he added Duster. Yeah, guys, the Vanquish Souls uh, archetype seems pretty good. Like, anything that just has quick effects... Even if they have a condition like reveal attributes, it's pretty good. Pretty good cards. All right. Do a special rise heart. Rise heart effect. Search for days, man. Just threw into all his engine pieces. The Rota, the Cash, the Vanquished, the Vanquished Cash. You know, you're basically your wallet after you play this game for so long. Probably gonna be the end at this point. All right, never mind. He's gonna go for Rock Special. Opponent is thinking. Never mind. He already used rock. What did he do in the past? Oh, never mind. He's gonna tag. All right, setting. He's gonna pass. All right, he's got a field full of cash. And some Castira monsters. Haha! <laughs> Alright. Flu's about to take his turn. Draw face. Stand by. Alright. He's attempting to use border on stand, uh, draw face. Pause in the draw. 
Stand by. Now he's in main. All right, Robana, Robana effect. He's gonna chain the rock to add Razen from grave to hand. And that link monster is just very useful. It gets you an extra piece from hand and grave. You gotta love it. Alright, gonna use Eagle for one and Fenrir two. Alright, he's gonna target the Robana to banish. All right, they're gonna get a judge rolling. It looks like they're confused as to whether or not uh, Robania would be banished face down or not. I guess they all have continuous banish effects, so that's fascinating. All right, we're gonna we're gonna fast forward through this. All right, I guess it was ruled by the head judge that because it's banishing itself by its own effect, even though it's getting banished by Fenrir, because it's being banished, because it literally states it gets banished when it leaves the field, it will be banished face up. So I guess it's a big step for the flu player because yeah, they need their uh, if they're gonna ba they banish their cards to summon themselves, and they definitely need to be banished face up because anything face down has no properties. What that means, guys, is that means that there is no... They are not considered spell traps or monsters. They're just ambiguous cards. Alright. So he's popping off now. He's got Penguin out. Yeah. Face down Fluanderies are uh, not going to be useful to him. So that's a very good advantage he just got there. Opponent is thinking upon chain. Alright, he's good. It's like he added, I think he added Robania back to his hand. He's adding the trap. Alright, opponent is attempting the battle. Alright, looks like he has to attack... He has to attack something else with the highest attack. I think a Vanquish Soul. Alright, I see. I think he's chaining this during main phase one, guys. So that's Duster to chain. So he's gonna. All right. Immediately gets chains with adventure. So he's gonna take. So the Vanquish Soul player just lost his target. So his monster will go to defense. And even if he added a monster on the field, the target's gone. So he can't set it face down anymore. He added the map, so I imagine he's going to activate that next. Yeah, he's still in main phase one, guys, as far as I'm aware. There we are, map. Veil Tukin. He's going to banish from his hand and summon a Fluanderese card.
Oh, I'm sorry. He banishes from the deck and then adds from banish. Alright. He's got a set of card. Vanquish Soul's turn. Attempt to activate Vanquish Soul's effect. It's gonna reveal the attribute to draw an extra card. Mad consistency. face. Oh, the opponent also uh, flew under ease, gained 500 due to adventure. Alright. He's going to attempt to normal summon rise in and chain the effect. And now he's going to use the effect of map. In response. It's gonna activate Ryzen's other effects. It's gonna activate Ryzen's effects as Chainlink 3 has another effect. Uh, he's gonna destroy everything in the column. So he literally just destroyed the monster he summoned because it was in the same column. It's pretty neat. But it looks like Flounderies would be able to make a re catch up play. Alright, summon the Igas. Alright. Eagland 1. Tukin Chain Link 2. Opponent is thinking about response. Alright, chain Caesar to target Razin. Chain like three. Alright. A lot of chains in this roundup, guys. I guess this be befitting for a final match, huh? Alright, he's gonna tribute the boss for Mpin. Pen chain like one. All right, he added that card back, and now he's searching through due to M pen. So we got two decks that can basically basically just cycle through their stuff pretty easily. So. And he's gonna attempt a normal summon. Who can? Playing during your opponent's turn, guys. It's so much fun. Alright. Looks like he's gonna target and send that to grave. Three, and he's gonna banish a card from the grave. All right, Eaglin and banish chain like two, and he's gonna banish the border in the Vanquish Souls graveyard. By the way, guys, I'm pretty sure this is still uh, the Vanquish Souls turn, so uh, that's funny. 
All right, he got rid of the Fenrir too. <laughs> the opponent's just like, I know you guys can't hear it, but he's like, good, done. Can I take my turn now? All right. That's a funny, that's a funny uh, counter. So he just summoned that card that literally lets you tribute over your opponent's thing. Monsters after they've activated their effects. Alright, he's activating the trap. He's still playing on his opponent's turn, mind you. I think I'm starting to see why people don't like fun to race. As a matter of fact, I was talking to a homie today and he was literally being like, I hope they lose. The hate is real. The salt is real, guys. It's very real. Alright. Robina. He's using Robina's effect now. I'll get him a search. Should be Romania. Into Vanquisher. Alright, it looks like he's gonna blow up the field. Or his opponent's field. Alright, that's Flanderese's win. I I think his I think his I think the Vanquish Souls player player's turn, right guys? I think it literally just got harassed by the Flandries. That's... That's amazing. Alright, guys. We still got potentially two other rounds left. Who will take it? Flu? Or Vanquish Souls? Draw standby for Vanquish Souls. He chose to go first again. Alright. Main phase, normal summon Rosin for effects. Adds. Alright. Getting our typical Vanquish Soul combo off. Combo. The Rock. I can't wait for Vanquish Soul's papers and scissors. Make a shoe also while you're at it. Why not? Alright, he's gonna tag him out. Get the boss monster. Alright, he's gonna set a few cards. Or his whole hand almost. And Fluanderies will take draw face. Alright. He's going to activate something during draw. The Vanquish Soul player. Alright, continue to target Rise in to special. Then he's probably going to trigger its effects. And then he took 500. So he's at 75 currently. Rise in to search. He's going to reveal the draw. Alright, to be fair, the Vanquish Soul player is ju having just as much privilege on the Flu's turn as the Flu player was on his turn. So, you know what? All is fair and love is war, right guys? Alright. Fundaries Adventure.
All right, so he gained 500. Assert and plus in your life? Wow. I think he's attempted to go into battle, guys. Evenly matched, right? Everybody already knows. That's why this guy's stalling, because uh, he knows. He knows he's about to be evenly. 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 Yeah! Say bye bye to your field, Yugi! Alright, main two. Prosperity. Alright. After we just made our opponent get evenly matched with us, we are now seeking prosperity, guys. But of course. But of course. Could all use a little prosperity in our lives, right, guys? Anyways. Alright. There's that pesky Apex Avian. Gotta love to hate that card. Oh, and a uh, Dark Roller No More. How much you want to bet he side decked that card in, too? So he's probably going to want to add it. Well, I guess it depends on how bad his hand is. Well, I guess it's so bad he needed more adventures. So. Alright. Robina, chain like one. The other one, two. Alright. Pushing for egos. Attempt to summon M Pen. M Pen Chain Link 1. Forbania Chain Link 2. Some more ads. More ads. More ads. Looks like he's gonna set something past. He's got M Pen on board, so. Wow, Feather Duster! Hell yeah. Literally the card that just made his opponent scoop last round. Alright. Change the Flunders, Trap, and Adventure, of course. Robania. Oh wow, and the, uh, the other card that he just destroyed was Book of Moon. Pretty good. He's at 9,000 now too, guys, by the way, guys. So he could literally go into time if he wanted to. Well, if he can get away with, you know, stalling, i.e. not stalling. Wink, wink. Alright, he's getting Stree. Eaglin one, the other one two. I'm gonna just do all my normal summoning on your turn, bruh. Turn? What turn? I'm reminiscent of that uh, communism meme, guys. It's like your turn versus our turn. Our turn, guys. I get Miss Valley Apex Avian out. Yeah, I'm in the gate. 
In your face. Alright. Alright, main phase one for Vanquist. How will he respond? He has... He is sitting... He is staring at a M Apex Avian currently, which is an Omni Negate. You know, put himself back to the hand to negate anything his opponent's got for him. I had a copy of myself. It's pretty good. I just don't play flu. Special Fenrir. That's a staple of Johnny B's lately. Well, then again, that's a staple of the meta. So. Alright, stake your soul. He's going to reveal and add... Stake your soul to add whatever attribute that he reveals from deck to hand. Well, I think it has to be a Vanquish Soul monster. He's attempted to use Rosin's effects to search. Or I'm sorry, it's not Rosin, it's the one that searches a spell and trap. Alright, he's got the one that resurrects, I think it's called Continue. Resurrects from Graveyard. Bet, bet, best bet is to somehow get rid of them Apex Avion or force his opponent. Well, if he tries to get rid of it, he's going to be forcing its activation. Yep, that's what he's going to do. Negate and destroy it. The card in his hand. And then he immediately triggered Fenrir to banish the other card. M-Pen. That one does go face down, by the way, guys. Alright, it's going to set two. He's going to battle. All right. He's taken 37. All right. Finally, the flu player is taking some uh, taking some damage. Ah, oh, bro! Before main phase two, chain evenly. Damn! Wow. You gotta love it. I get the feeling he side decked that card too. Alright. He ended. They're on main one. So 75 for 65. Er. Alright, he's gonna activate the map. Alright, he's at 53, guys. Oh, nice. He immediately chained chain link 3 in response. So, there can only be one, guys. You guys, ever this, you guys ever see the movie Highlander? Yeah. There can only be one. So, each player is restricted to one type of monster. So, because he's playing flu and he runs a bunch of winged beasts, he can't summon another winged beast, guys. So he's going to go straight into attack, and he's probably going to be forced to end his turn. That's a crazy good floodgate. 
Alright, main phase two. Sets and passes. Alright. Hopefully Vanquish Souls have enough different variety types to get around it. He must, because he's running it, so he, he must have a way around his own floodgate. Alright. He's gonna normal summon, no effect. He set that card. If I had to take a guess, he's most likely going to the battle. Alright, this is literally going to be uh, who can hold out the longest here with only one type. A restriction to one type per basically just period. Alright, we're going to Link. Rock. Quick effect for Rock. The target to add back to hand. And he passed. Alright. There could be only one! Alright. Interesting. Dark World No More. Attempts to activate map. And... All right. Interesting. Flew into Link Karibo. I mean, it's level one. It works. It's good to get a way around it. Alright. It's gonna use... Alright. Nice. Alright, he found a way around it. Nightmare Phoenix is going to be able to target and destroy a back row card. So he can literally destroy the deck and only be one. There we go. Alright. Unfortunately, the opponent won't take damage this turn because of Dark Roller. But he did get around everything. Although... He had to use his resources to do that. So I'm a little worried for him. Special Fenrir. And effect of Fenrir. Alright. Rise Heart. Alright, he's thinking. I think he still has that resurrecting card. So he can special summon something. It's no longer restricted by, uh, that can only be one. Alright, summon Rise Hard for effect. Alright. Alright, he's gonna attack with Fenrir. He's gonna banish the map. It's a very good idea. Alright, 515. Alright. He's at main phase 2. And he's. Alright, Flunderese is turned. Alright, Book of Moon the Fenrir. Alright, interesting. Street to target Impen, Chain Link 2. Oh! He had another one, guys! Ah! Oh. 
that movie Highlander, dude. There, there can only be one. His opponent's laying down the law. Damn, homie. I guess that one uh, cast card is not a psychic. Good for him. I think that's gonna be it at this point. So he's only got like 29 left, guys. So that's, yeah, that's game. All right, this is probably the hypest match yet here at Johnny B. So, all right, two evenlies, two there can only be one. The only thing we we're missing is the hand trap brigade. The hype final round, flu versus vanquish souls. I can't imagine a whole lot of time left either. So these players are going to have to go fast. Got to go fast. All right, Flu will start off with Duality. All right. That definitely restricts his specials for the turn. Two Eagles and a Book of Moon. I'm going to guess Book of Moon. Kind of a hard choice, though. Eagles, okay. To be fair, he might have an Evenly in hand. All right, Eagles, Eagles effects. It's like I had a rough night and I hate the fucking Eagles, man. Get the fuck out of my cap. All right, he'll set two and pass. He got the Apex Avion in his hand, by the way, so uh, that'll be interesting. Take your soul to reveal Ash. Okay, yeah, fascinating. I mean, they certainly have fire types, so, uh, very cute. All right, rise and effect the search. Alright, effect the tag out. Special. Alright, effect the reveal for Earth and Fire, and he gets to burn 1500. Alright. He might just win due to that burn damage alone, guys. Alright, he's gonna set three in battle. Attack for the Eagles. All right. It's gonna chain during the flu's draw phase, or the fire for another 15. Wow, he's really going for that uh, whittle my opponent before time maneuver. All right, he's attempting to activate triple tactical, not talents, but the other one. Triple, triple tactical thrust. So allow him to search a spell and trap and then set it. Yeah, he controls a monster. He can add it to hand. If he didn't control a monster on the field, it would get set. So he literally just got a free uh, prosperity. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. So much for that prosperity, man. Wow. All right. Flipped over. There can only be one. And just... All right. All that action. And just for it to end on time. And...